Hi, this is Made by Mommy, and today I'm going to teach you how to make this puppy pencil climber using the rainbow loom or any loom that you have that is set in the staggered position. And you'll need 93 rubber bands in the color of the body, three for the nose and feet, and two for the eyes. To begin, take one rubber band in the color you want the puppy to be and place it where the arrow is going forward in the center row. Then take two at a time in that same body color and place it from the center peg to the side and the center peg again to the opposite side. Then two at a time and two at a time again for this side. We're going to put the same on the opposite side. And then in the middle, we'll actually have three pairs of bands. Then taking two at a time from the outside to the center and the other side to the center as well. Then two more in the center to create the neck. Then two from the center going out to the side to make a shoulder and another two the other way. And now two at a time for the next two positions in each of the rows. Here too. And then take two from the center down to the bottom of the side of the body and two again from the center to the opposite side. And then we're going to work our way down the legs. Two of the same color and two of the same color. And then for this third position, you want one for the color of the body and one for a different darker color to show the feet. And then switch back to two of the same for the next two. And then on this bottom peg, we're gonna take a single band and wrap it around three times if you can. Depends on the brand of rubber bands how many times you can wrap that around comfortably. Then we're gonna do the other legs the same way. Two of the same color, two of the same, then one of each, Then two of the same. And two of the same. And adding a single band wrapped around here three times. Now we need a triangle band across these three for the center of the body. and a triangle band here for the bottom of the face. And then we need to add the eyes onto this peg and this peg. Take a single band and wrap it around three times. 
and do that here as well. Then take another single triangle band across these three, like that. And we've now put placed all the rubber bands are on chart. Oh, except the tail. You don't want to forget that because it's way too cute. So the tail goes on right here. That's why I love having this chart. It helps me remember everything. The chart will be available for you to print out at madebymommy.com. Okay, so that goes three positions. And then here again, you want to wrap around the rubber band three times. Once you've placed the bands for your tail, rotate your loom and get your hook ready. We're going to start at the bottom, reaching back to catch the two bands underneath, placing a thumb over the cap so that it doesn't pop off, and moving forward. And keep going until you're where the legs meet the body. And we can do the tail in the center. Also to where it meets the body. And then the other leg. So once you've gotten to where this leg is meeting the body, we're actually going to relocate this leg. So take the bands onto your hook, place your thumb on top so you don't lose them, and pop that off. And we're going to connect it up here at the shoulder. Like that. Now this leg is going to connect here. Let's first catch the top two bands in this position, bring them to the center. Then we're going to place a finger here so that we don't lose our work. Place our hook into the cap band and pop that off the loom up to this point. Wrap it around and over the tail and stretch this cap band open and onto the peg on the opposite side of the body, just like that. Then you can take the top two, if you look at it from the side, we're going for these bands that go towards the center peg. So reaching in to catch those two bands and bringing them into the center. Now we can go from left to right to bring two bands forward. And in here. And here. Now this left one we can do now, and we can do the center, but we don't want to do the right yet. Before we do the right, we need to put our hook back into the cap band from this leg, bring it around the body, and onto that peg here. Now we can do this right side. And now we can bring the shoulders in. 
from the side to the center and the other side to the center as well. And the neck coming in here. And the chin, taking the top two bands in the stack up to the right. The next two go up to the left. And then the center two that remain go forward. Now that we have the legs out of the way, it's a good time to construct the ears. You're going to take two bands at a time and place them four times. With a cap band wrapped around three at the bottom. And then repeat again for the other ear. And another cap band wrapped around three times. Bringing our hook in. And moving straight ahead. Then put your hook into the thick portion, put your thumb over the bands, and pop off one ear, and the other ear can come off now too. Then the ears go all the way up here, the second peg from the top, right there. And on the other side, goes your other ear. And the eyes are ready to be positioned as well. You want to keep your finger on this triangle band so it doesn't pop off. And just bring these black bands up and over the peg. You can do them one at a time or all three at a time, whatever is comfortable for you. As long as they all end up there. You can do that for this side too. Up and over with the black bands. Until all three of those loops are in position. And now for this puppy, since we want him to have a nose that sticks out, we're going to add rubber bands again from this left peg to the center of the neck right between the eyes going down and then from the right side of the face to the center as well And depending on what color you want the very tip of that nose to be, you would take a single band and wrap it around here three times. Then, using your hook, we're going to bring back the bands we just placed. So that means the top two are going up and to the right, the next two go to the center peg, and then the final two are going to the left. And that's going to create that prominent nose. And we can go back now underneath all these bands to catch the two 
that go forward. And in here, coming inside that triangle band that's holding the eyes, catching the two that go forward and over the ear. In the center, going right between the eyes. And on the right, catch the two bands that go forward. And now we just need to do the very top of the head. Coming in here, catch those two bands that go to the center. And here, two bands going to the center. Then the one band that remains, reach in to grab it and bring it up and catch the other half of that band. And we're going to create a slip knot by pulling this side through the center of the other side. And don't tug too hard on this band because you don't want it to break. You can create this knot much easier if you let all those bands come off first. Then you can give it a little tug. But again, you don't want to snap this band, so not too hard. And then you can remove your entire pencil climber from the loom. I like to use my fingers once I have those first three off until I get to the neck here because this one is a sort of delicate spot too. So then I put my hook in again and bring it around the back to take that off and the shoulders as well. And then use my fingers again. And he's ready. First thing you want to do is take him by the nose and tug that nose out so that it really sticks forward. And you can play with the ear position for whatever you think is cutest and tug the tail. I also find that the tail positions a little bit better. If I wind it, you'll see these, these bands that go across it. If I bring it through that first pair like that, it makes the tail stick up more if that's what you want. And you can also pull the eyes forward and then they are not visible from the back of the head anymore. If you're not planning to hang this charm from somewhere, you can make this loop disappear by either tucking it in behind the head or simply wrapping it around the ear twice. Please, if you could, take a second now to give this video a big thumbs up below. And if you haven't already, subscribe. I've got over a hundred videos with projects like this one. I hope you'll check some of those out and comment below to let me know what you would like to see me do next. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned now to see some fan made pencil huggers that have been posted on Instagram with the tag MBM hug.